My 15 years on the school board, I, it was one of the greatest joys of my life. But probably in the first, mm, two or th second or third year, we had a demographer come in and, and shared with us the changing demographics and what we needed to anticipate and prepare for. And, and while I was on the board, we, we went majority, minority, and then we went majority, economically disadvantaged. And so there was a pretty rapid change in, in, in the, the very makeup of this community. I knew what was going to happen in the city to a degree. I believed that God was leading us to start something and I asked God Shepherd to do it. Pull together a network of churches, pull together a network of organizations, and, uh, and let's have a ministry that meets needs in our community. Scott's a guy that can make things happen. And so I think we started with full belief that it could happen. And we just used the Braille method. That We just felt our way around. In those early days, we'd hear about little programs here and there, and we'd go be a part of them or go visit to see what they were doing. Operation Back to School, as we now know it, uh, began back in 2005, before Six Stones even existed. Uh, a Bible study class in our church uh, wanted to do something on a larger scale for the community, and uh, I think served about, uh, about 200 kids total. And so when Scott comes and and kind of lays out the vision of what could be. And there's a difference between being a visionary and being absolutely out of your mind. And I'm not sure which one I thought he was at that point. But uh, he, he, he would go to the school district. He'd go to Dr. Buinger, the superintendent at that point, and say, what does the district need? Just to have received the phone call was an important step. As a superintendent, I could not go out and contact every church and say, will you help us? We knew our church was not big enough to meet all the needs in the area, so if we had started a, an arm of ministry at our church alone, we knew that wouldn't be enough. But we also knew it wasn't about a denomination or a church, it was about the kingdom. It made a whole lot more sense to, for us to partner together, that we can get much more done than any of us can individually. So we began to build on that. You know, those early days, we, we turned it into a Barnum and Bailey circus. The first backpack drive we had, there was, I think we had 10 inflatable games. We had the police department, the fire department, the emergency air evac people. You could hardly get in before you had anybody here. And suddenly we realized real quick that uh, we need to have enough water and enough shade for people because it's hot in Texas in August. Turned out to be about 110 degrees. We had to close down 90% of the games because the, the rubber was too hot for the kids to get on it. And so we learned. We, we learned that you didn't have to have all that, that people really would come just because they were in need. It's really all about the community and what kind of community are we going to have? Is it going to be a community uh, where families are secure, um, you know, where children are learning, you know, all of these things are critical. What we have is, is that people all across this community, that they, but they don't just think about the needs that exist or, or see that, that, that things need to be done. Rather, they've chosen to come in together and, and to partner and to bind themselves in a partnership that has resulted in serious work being done and lives being changed. And we're a better community because of it.